Meanwhile, tonight, President Obama unveiled an ambitious State of the Union with the focus on tax increases for the wealthy, education, and child care help for the middle class. Senior political reporter Scott Thuman is live in our newsroom tonight to break it all down for us. Scott? Well, Allison, this is the first time the president has had to address a Republican-controlled Congress. One way to curry some fast favor is by the big announcement he made when the president called tonight for Congress to authorize his use of force in the fight against the Islamic State, and that's something many in Congress on both sides of the aisle have been asking for. In fact, we saw one moment of solidarity uh, tonight when members from both sides held up pens and pencils uh, in defiance of the terror attacks that we saw recently in Paris against journalists. Uh, the less popular proposal tonight, though, what some people are calling, at least some pundits, the Robin Hood tax plan. President Obama asking to increase taxes on couples making over $500,000 a year. That, along with big fees on financial institutions, would, he says, help grow the middle class via things like child tax breaks and even make community college free. And let's close the loopholes that lead to inequality by allowing the top 1% to avoid paying taxes on their accumulated wealth. We can use that money to help more families pay for child care and send their kids to college. We need a tax code that truly helps working Americans trying to get a leg up in the new economy. And we can achieve that together. That's what middle class economics is. The idea that this country does best when everyone gets their fair shot. Everyone does their fair share. Everyone plays by the same set of rules. All right, well, before the speech was even over, the GOP was jumping all over this, tweeting out. In fact, uh, they were saying that the president is to blame for problems with the middle class suffering. Here, the RNC put out the statement saying Obamacare raises taxes and shifts costs to the middle class. And then Speaker Boehner, who was, of course, behind the lectern, so not him, but his staff, putting out uh, fact, too many Americans are out of work and middle class families are struggling with fewer hours and smaller paychecks. Now, Statuary Hall, that's where the real spin begins in person and where our Bruce DePoit caught up with Virginia Congressman and Democrat Jerry Connolly. I believe the uh, two-year community college for free idea is one definitely that could catch fire. Uh, it's already been tried in some Republican states and in some Democratic states. So it's, it's not a partisan idea, and I think that could have great momentum. All right, well, this year for the Republicans and for the second year in a row, the official reaction and response came from a female legislator. This time it was uh, just in office, Senator Joni Ernst of Iowa, and she laid out what this Republican dominant Hill really plans to do, even in the face of possible you might even say probable vetoes. We'll also keep fighting to repeal and replace a health care law that's hurt so many hardworking families. We'll work to correct executive overreach. We'll propose ideas that aim to cut wasteful spending and balance the budget with meaningful reforms, not higher taxes like the president has proposed. So now, really, it's just a matter of who can move the ball down the field the most. Will they work together? Will the president have to rely on smaller measures, like through executive actions, executive orders? Uh, and will we see more of that kind of kumbaya tone that was expressed at both the beginning and the end of tonight's State of the Union? Allison.